So guys, the MVP is BS. It's still worth picking up in 2023. It's only on the market for about two years, but let's talk about it. So the MVKBS here is obviously a sleekly designed little retro style console, and it can play tons of great games. Games from you know home consoles ranging from the Atari 2600 all the way up to the PlayStation One. As you can see here in back of my collection, we have tons of different games for it, including arcade games and microcomputer games. Now I do have a majority of games from the from the Evercade collection. The ones I am missing currently are the Sydney Hunter games and the Pico Arcade one, but I will be trying to acquire them soon. But this system has a nice sleek design, four USB charge, USB um, ports to for obviously controllers, two dual cartridges, so you can have up, you can have between four and forty games in your system at any given time, depending on which ones you choose. And on the back, it's got a reset button, HDMI, and a charging port. Now I will say this charging port needs to be addressed due to it being a micro usb and micro usb is tend to be phased out in europe so the newer the newer evercade the exp does actually have a usb c charging cable which is a little different and also it's got a nice bit at the top to obviously allow air to get to the system games because as we all know heat and stuffing it kills me near game good gaming system exactly exactly the controllers themselves look like this nice red and gray and white style very very nice very the Francais, very retro, very retro look. And people said it looks like an NES, and a modern day NES. And I do agree. Would, yeah. you, say, would you say it looks like a modern yeah, day Yeah, very much. Yeah. Especially with the controller. Exactly. Exactly, my friend. And obviously here you've got the power button. When you power it on, it does have a nice little array of colourful lights. And the game library, is, it's, got, it's actually pretty astounding. You've got games from Atari, Pico Interactive, Technos, you know, some notable games, obviously, from the history of gaming. Uh, obviously, if you look here, you also got a ton of indie games as well. And obviously, I I will be looking. I will be obviously continue to expand my collection as time goes on. But you got games like Double Dragon. You got games like um, uh, Alien Brigade from Atari. You got games from tons of companies. And they, they keep signing more and more companies somehow. They somehow they're able to get tons of more companies to keep supporting the system. And it's actually pretty interesting, you know. Uh, Twenty twenty three. Obviously, they've got a few more games coming out. Sydney Hunters getting a collection, Pico and Arcade One. There's some more microcomputer collections as well. And personally, I've got to admit, I think this is a nice system. Obviously, if you look at the side here, it's got these rubber and the bottom's got these rubber plump, plump stops. So obviously, help you support it as well as just sat down. But overall, I think this is a good. If you are a budding retro collector or you just want to play some old school games, I feel like this is a good get up uh, in 2023. If you are though looking for something a little bit more. I, I would say original hardware based and not emulation based because this is an emulation based console in most regards there are some games that are native though I would say I would consider getting an original hardware but if you want to play modern or if you want to play retro games and some modern indie games on your TV on your modern HDMI TV with ease and whatnot I feel like this is a good get if you know what you're getting into you know specifically what games you are trying to buy because there are about 40 cartridges on Evercade, but two of them will not work on the VS due to it being handheld only. And those being the Namco cartridges. And also, we'll say that five uh, Evercade cartridges are actually legacy cartridges. So, you need to, if you want to get them, you need to get them quick before, obviously, the prices just skyrocket. But overall, I think this is, a, this is a nice little system, nice little addition to the collection. And the growing collection is obviously always going to grow. But yes, Scoping, have you ever tried the Evercade VS? No. Would you ever consider getting an MVPS? Maybe. Really? What what, what would you, what would sell you on it? The retro aspect of the modern indie game? Yeah, it's just... Yeah. Like, the fact it's not completely reliant on the fact that it's old games. Yeah, and also the fact it's not got any microtransactions or anything like that, so that's always good to see, especially with classic games. Even a Double Dragon 3, uh, Rosetta Stones is on here, and that game was notorious for creating microtransactions, which... Damn you, Technos! But What's yeah. funny, a dead company is responsible for one of the greatest scourges in gaming. Yeah, people everyone read EA for it. But yeah, that's just how it is, guys. Let me know your thoughts about this system in the comments down below. Do you have another KDS? Would you do you plan to acquire another KDS? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you need to make sure to subscribe, like, share, comment to notifications. I have tons of videos on the Evercade from way back, so if you want to check out some of those videos, go ahead. I've been Evercade and I'm signing out. Peace.